hello and good morning. Welcome to a very sleepy Saturday morning in our yes. house. For the first time in a long time, Grace like completely regressed on sleep. She had a rough night. Yeah, I think she's teething, but poor girl. She yeah, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it is teething. Happy as a clam now. <laughs> Yeah. She's playing with her toys on her mat. She's actually been like extra smiley this morning. So one of my friends in high school, we used to call that typer. When you're so tired, you get hyper. Typer. Relatable. I don't feel typer. <laughs> I just feel tired. Hi, my typer girl. Yeah. <laughs> and her breakfast is ready. Quick veggie omelet and some flattened raspberries. Also, oh my gosh, this kitchen. <laughs> Ah, uh, Steven's cleaning off Grace's high chair because we forgot to do that after dinner last night. Honestly, this is like a comedic, everything just fell apart. <laughs> Everything's going wrong. Like last night was a Friday night, so we kind of like didn't do our chores for the night. Yep. And then it just happened to be compounded with a crazy night. So now we're just waking up like, ah! <laughs> but at least it's the weekend. Like imagine if this was a weekday, I'm that would be a lot worse. I'm glad today's a do nothing Saturday. Yes, we are gonna, we were well, gonna we, try. We were gonna find something to do, but now it's We were gonna go to the zoo, remember? I think that was tomorrow. Oh, okay. Well, we'll still try to do that tomorrow then. <laughs> we have to get that garland down. Oh my gosh. We cannot let that live past January. I think it's kind of a good look. No. <laughs> All right. I just put Grace down for her nap. Steven's eating his breakfast. My goals for this nap time. Steven did the dishes. I want to tidy up the kitchen, kind of finish things up in here. I want to shower and uh, detangle my hair. It's basically like one big knot up here. And this is going to seem super random, but I've really been wanting to do this and and I think trying something new sounds fun today. So I wanna try and make cured egg yolks. I got this idea from a TikTok. I'll link uh, the creator in the description. But basically it makes the egg yolks kind of like a, like a gratable topping. And I don't like eggs, but I feel like maybe I would like this. I thought it'd be fun to try. It takes five days though. So today we're just gonna start it. All right, so I've got my container. I'm gonna fill it with salt. Well, fill the bottom with salt. Now I'm gonna make six. So you make six little indents. Okay, and then I just separated the yolk from the white. Oh gosh, <laughs> camera's falling. Now I'm gonna put the yolk into the little indent. Boop. Oh, that wasn't so hard. Oh no. Oh no. I accidentally popped one of the yolks. Oh no, okay, how to recover. All right, I'm just gonna take it out. I'm just gonna take it out. I don't want it to ruin the other ones. Oh no. Why I thought this was a good idea to try on a day where I'm absolutely exhausted, I don't know. Adding in some more salt. All right, last one. This one's a little wonky. Also, this one started drifting, so I don't know what's up with that. My last chance to redeem myself. Boop. Oh, that's a good one. That's a great one. Okay, now the TikTok says to cover the whole thing in salt. Okay. Cover it up. And put it in the fridge for five days. So uh, we'll get an update on these guys uh, in one of the vlogs next week. All right, it is now about two o'clock. Um, I would say things have not gone well. <laughs> Oh, poor Grace, she's just having a really hard time. It was like almost two hours of trying to get her to nap. And I think the nap itself ended up being about 30 minutes. So <laughs> at this point, all we can do is just laugh and, and try to make it through the day. So I'm actually gonna take her on a little walk around the neighborhood. Steven has an errand he has to run. Get some chemicals to rebalance the pool because we haven't used it in a while. But we're going to on Monday. So Skylar and her family are gonna come over. We're gonna go in the spa, heat it up. So Steven's gonna get uh, everything all balanced. and we are going to walk. Also, I did not end up showering or washing my hair, but that's okay. <laughs> Doing the best we can today. So originally I just wanted this to be a short walk, you know, get out of the house, clear my head, get some movement in my body. So I didn't feel like walking all the way to the park. So I started going the other way, but then walking felt so good. I just kept walking and now I'm actually not far from Starbucks. So I think I'm gonna place a mobile order, <laughs> but Grace is happy in the stroller. I'm really enjoying this walk. So uh, we'll get some Starbucks and we'll keep it going. Where's Gracie? Where's Gracie Peekaboo? There was a flaw in my plan. I didn't bring a mask with me because obviously I wasn't planning on going anywhere. But uh, luckily, back up in the diaper bag came in clutch. Thank you. First Starbucks of the year. Sounds like there, there's no way that could be true with how much I usually get Starbucks, but it's been a hot minute, so cheers. 
All right, so we are back home. Grace was yawning a ton on the walk, but she never fell asleep. So I'm hoping she'll take a really good afternoon nap now. I'm giving her her bottle. I've got her in her sleep sack. I'm gonna dim the lights, turn the sound machine on, just really try to set her up for a good solid nap. Man, I feel so good though. I'm so glad I got out and did that. Are you waving at the camera? <laughs> Yeah, I think that was really good for me mentally. And I got my exercise ring clothes on my Apple Watch, which I did not think was gonna happen today. And that feels like a little accomplishment in itself. I got some Starbucks. Grace got to see a little bit of the world outside these walls. But honestly, I think I needed it a lot more than she did. So I'm gonna try and get her down and uh, catch up with you guys later. We did it. She's down. She is napping. <laughs> She's been asleep for about 20 minutes. So I was just playing some switch on the couch. Steven's outside working on the pool, but I think he's going to be done pretty soon. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in the shower, detangle this mess. <laughs> Needs a little bit of TLC. It actually doesn't look all that bad from the front, but this whole section back here is basically one big knot. <laughs> oh, I feel so much better. If I thought I felt better after the walk, after the shower, whole new me. <laughs> so Grace took a good solid like hour nap. Now she's playing on the floor mat here with Steven. I'm gonna make dinner. I had originally planned to make like the, the veggie jumble that I've showed before on the vlog, but honestly, I just don't want to. <laughs> So instead, we are gonna make a uh, quick little Trader Joe's dinner. I have these goat cheese and sun-dried tomato ravioli from Trader Joe's. So I'm just gonna make these with a red sauce. These literally cook in like five minutes. And then I have this frozen quinoa and vegetable medley also from Trader Joe's, which I can heat up in a saucepan in like five minutes. Well, there we have it. A very easy, not aesthetically pleasing, but low maintenance and probably pretty tasty dinner. I assume this one is mine with the extra red sauce. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I like it glopped on there. Steven loves his red sauce. I love a good marinara. Gonna top these off with some Parmesan and we'll eat. Also, I was able to uh, tidy up the kitchen a little bit while I cooked. So we're getting things done. Yeah. All right, whispering because Grace is asleep and we do not want to wake her up. But uh, look what we just did. We banged every little bell so loud. <laughs> Like, ah. <laughs> Somehow she stayed asleep. We were definitely uh, not the quietest, but the last remnants of Christmas are gone. We had some wrapping paper that was over here, mm -hmm. a random box, and then the garland. And so uh, it is January 14th. <laughs> Christmas is officially over in this house. Yay. Till next year. Well, technically this year, but. <laughs> Hello and good morning. I feel refreshed. I slept much, much better last night. So did Steven, so did Grace. So now we are just getting ready before we head off to uh, go to the zoo for a couple hours. Dang it, I just realized there's a rogue hair. <laughs> that I missed in my brains. Dang it. Okay, I guess I have to redo them again. But first, I'm just gonna do my skincare. I'm rubbing in my favorite moisturizer, the Youth to the People Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream. And then I'm gonna layer my new sunscreen on top, which, just quick little update on it. I had showed you guys when I bought this, the Dr. Dennis Gross Lightweight Sunscreen. I love this. <laughs> this is definitely gonna be my like new everyday sunscreen. It's 30 SPF and it does not feel like heavy on my skin. It didn't make me break out. I definitely do have to like rub it in a little bit more intensely than other sunscreens I've tried just to get rid of the white cast, but it does rub in and the white cast does go away. So if you're looking for a new sunscreen, I will link this one in the description. I definitely recommend it. Only downside is it is on the more expensive side, but it seems like this tube is probably gonna last a while. So like I said, today we are going to the zoo, the San Diego Zoo. A couple weeks ago, we bought passes for the San Diego Safari Park, but the Safari Park passes work for both the zoo and the Safari Park. And usually we go to the Safari Park, but last weekend we went to the zoo and we just had such a great time. It's so spread out. We never really felt like we were in too close quarters to anyone. It's also just a really nice place to walk. We just had such a great time. So honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up doing this like pretty much every weekend where we don't have something else going on. So once I finish 
finish getting ready, I am gonna give Grace her 11 o'clock bottle while Steven swaps with me so he can come in here and get ready. And then we'll get going, we'll go have a fun day. All right, I am packing up Grace's diaper bag and then we're gonna be heading out. I'm restocking diapers, I think we're good on wipes. And then we'll probably still be at the zoo for her three o'clock feed. So I'm bringing the bottle that's filled with water and then her portable bottle warmer and two of these little travel packs of formula. So when she's ready to eat, we'll just heat up the water on this little, it's called a baby's brew, this little gadget. And then once it's ready, we'll mix in the formula and she can eat. And then we're mostly out of like regular food groceries. We do have a banana. So I think I'm gonna bring that for her as a snack. And then we'll probably buy lunch at the park. So I think that's everything we need. I already put a blanket for her in the car, strollers in the car. Also, I'm wearing my merch, my confident and kind band tee. These just got restocked. So if you wanna get yours, they are available, linked in the description. All right, who's ready for the zoo? Zoo, 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 zoo. <laughs> Let's go. back at home now, the zoo was so much fun. I feel like my hope with getting the safari park and the zoo passes was that Grace would be able to like, you know, connect with animals, connect with nature. And I'm sure that will happen more down the line. And she did like looking at some of the animals, specifically the giraffes and the flamingos she seemed to like. But there is no doubt that Grace's favorite animals in the zoo were the other humans there looking at the animals. She loves to people watch and just smile at people and wave at people. And it's just so sweet to see. She'll like kick her legs, get all excited and start waving her hands whenever people walk by. But yeah, it was a super fun day. It's the evening now. Steven's gonna do Grace's bath time and bedtime and I'm actually gonna head out to the grocery store. I was planning on doing this tomorrow with Grace, but Steven was like, you should just go tonight, get it out of the way. I can take care of Grace for the evening and then you're all set up with uh, fresh groceries for the week. So I'm gonna take him up on that because I feel like I just do better when I have all of Grace's meals planned out, all of my meals planned out and also it is a lot easier to grocery shop without a seven month old so i'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera so i can try to just do it as quickly as possible go ahead and end the vlog here thank you guys so much for watching kind of a weird sporadic weekend vlog but it was fun i enjoyed sharing it with you and uh thanks for being here bye